hey hello friends welcome to my channel sapsd and abap league support today we will discuss about interfaces okay so there is a customer called andrew and this customer has a dealer and that is set up as a ship to customer in the sap system right and other customers like bill to pay are customer of andrew remember that this andrew is an customer who wants to receive the invoices monthly ones that is last working day in a month right but his expectation is that every day he wants to receive the data for which goods issue has been done for the deliveries the reason why he want the everyday information of the deliveries where goods issue has been done is that as he is uh, getting the invoices monthly ones so he want to get uh, some information about the deliveries for which goods issue has been completed so we need to develop an interface now to fulfill the customer requirement first of all let's uh, note on the key points now right so in order to make the billing happen last week in a month what we need to do now first of all we should define the factory calendar in scale transaction code and assign it in into payer customer under the billing tab let me show you that so if we don't define this factory calendar in that uh, payer customer the system thinks that he says he should be deliver invoiced at any point of the time okay if i open any of the order i'm going to the extra sorry i'm going to open the payer for this order so environment partner and payer it's taking some time okay so let me go to the sales and distribution tab under billing you can see the invoicing dates you see here invoicing dates so we need to create one new factory calendar in the factory calendar we should specify that every day is in holiday except the last day last working day of a month should be in working day remaining should be in we should specify that is in holiday and create a factory calendar assign it in the payer customer in the field invoicing dates under the billing tab this is the first step that we should do so once that is done this is the main step that we should do to create the invoices in the last working day of every month this is a prerequisite basically to create the invoices the next thing we need to develop the interface right so for that we are going to develop one develop one custom report and it should be scheduled as a batch job so the, the report should be scheduled as a batch job every day 
and the report will uh, look for an uh, deliveries so the logic should be like this look for deliveries from likp table the field the goods movement date wa dat underscore st so what i mean to say is that in likp table there is one field called wa dat underscore ist so in this table we should pass today's date the job runs every day right so here we should pass today's date that means the report will take care of these things and all so we should design in that way so we should give today's date and execute and we should give the sales area basically right so in the system we have n number of sales areas n number of customers data is there but we need to make this functionality work for particular sales area and particular customer and room right so we should specify in the likp table right the customer as well as the sales organization and the goods movement date right so here we should pass today's date and execute if anything is there means system uh, the program will uh, pick up the data then so we got the data now now what we need to do we need to prepare the data now we need to prepare the data so basically the report what it will do it will uh, retrieve all the data deliveries for which goods movement has been done for the particular day then we are going to prepare a text file right the custom report will prepare one data test file data and that will be loaded that will be loaded into the application server data and load it into application server there's nothing but al11 directory you might come across of this uh, ln directory okay so let me go to al11 right so in a11 we should load the data so first we should define the directory here right with the help of our basis team we need to create one directory here it's a physical directory so it's a logical directory and then it will be stored into physical directory in the system we should develop we should take help from basis team and develop one directory here then in the directory we should store the data if you see the screenshot you see the screenshot now so this is the data that we are going to prepare now upload into the a11 directory so you see some number here and currency eu are we are printing and we are printing some um, 15138 is a date right and uh, we are printing some text here so this the data what we are going to and how we are going to up upload into the a11 directory is decided with the agreement of business only so we need to get an agreement with the business and understand what data they need and which format they need in that way we should prepare the data then we should try to load the data into a11 directory to do that we need to use few statements the first thing is that open data set and we should mention the file name for example gv file so in the gv file we should specify the path right specify the path for and then some statement we need to add from a map for output in text mode encoding default so first we sh this should be done inside this we should uh, run one loop loop at for example one table lt text right into lw text for example this structure remember this and uh, end loop so inside this loop we should uh, load the data like uh, lw text underscore column 101 lw text column 102 something we need to do like this when that is done once we loaded the data into 
one structure okay that is lv underscore file respecting blank so don't think much about this uh, coding and all it's a uh, purely technical stuff but i'm just giving you an overview of this one but focus on the functionality how it works okay once that is done then we need to close the okay one more statement i missed right so one more statement is that we need to transfer lv file into gv file so the last step is to close the data set gv underscore file so whatever we have opened in the open set that should be closed open and close in open and close between we should add the logic to load the file right and once we write this kind of logic in the custom report then we see this data in a11 directory so from here what will happen so from here ibm sterling team will pick it up so they will pick it up and keep it in the vendor directory basically ibm team will share those information with vendor then vendor will uh, come to know vendor will try to read this data with the help of some tool and understand that how many deliveries has been created for a particular day for this customer andrew and uh, so basically we are uh, making an awareness to that uh, business andrew that uh, this is the delivery happened for this today and you will get an invoice end of the day last working day in a month so this is completely development of one uh, custom report which will be transferring the data to a11 directory from a11 directory it will be retrieved from sterling team from sterling it will be transferred to the vendor so this is one of the interface that we have developed in my project hope this video will be very helpful to you if you have any concerns or queries means please do let me know in the comment section i will try to answer that thank you friends we'll meet in the next video